I did not grow up on a farm. I grew up in suburbia in Cleveland, Ohio, and was involved with a, a local children's theater. I was in the right place at, at the right time. Here's the marquee at the Dream Theater in Russell, Kansas, where they're advertising Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Right after the film, I started uh, getting involved um, with horses, working on farms, and uh, saw the veterinarian that came out to the farm that I worked on, and I thought, boy, this, this guy's got the greatest job in the world, working with animals in order to make sure that milk and meat is safe for consumers and for ourselves, for everybody involved. So I said, boy, I, I'd like to pursue that. My name is Don Goodman. I am a food animal practitioner here in Navasota, Texas. Somebody said, why'd you go to vet school? I said, I just wasn't a very good cowboy. I loved working on cows and worked in auction barns and ranches and rode horses. And I just wasn't a good cowboy. Food animal medicine, it's been my life. I enjoy it and enjoy uh, my cows too, yeah. They know where the feed wagon is. At one time, every veterinarian worked on food animals. So now, less than 20% are involved with food animals. So yes, we do have a shortage. There is very much a shortage of practitioners. I really wanted to be a veterinarian. And they said I would never be able to do it because I was African American. I was not only going to do what I wanted to do, I was going to prove that I could do it well. Hi. Hi, Linda. I'm Dr. Linda Randall, and I am the owner of Cloverleaf Animal Hospital. I became a veterinarian because I loved animals, but more importantly, I loved people with the animals. And so that's part of being a veterinarian. You can't like one over the other because they come as a package. <laughs> I learned that when people have a goal that is an internal goal and not something imposed upon them, that they are not only much more likely to meet it, but they're going to enjoy the journey. My name is Dr. Angie Supel. I'm a swine veterinarian at Suede Health and Production, a swine exclusive practice in Algona, Iowa. I've wanted to be a vet since I was six years old and it's something that I never swayed from. Started out uh, my freshman year, knees deep into swine production, and found out that I absolutely loved herd health and production medicine. My friends in vet school would tease me. They used to say, Notre Dame's going to be a pig vet. So that started off a joke, and I ended up actually becoming a pig vet. So everyone kind of razzes me about that. My clients and everything, I don't get a lot of grief. I think they I think it's kind of neat that a city girl turned pig, so, so it works for me. I always wanted to be a zoo vet. Since I was a kid, my mom took us to the, to the zoo in Mexico City, and I loved it. She used to take me there at least once a month. In vet school, you learn about dogs and cats and horses. And that's really important, and it's going to give you the basic of your medicine skills. But then when you have to deal with a monkey or with a hawk, well, it's a little different. People say, oh, you know, your job is fascinating, and, and it is. I, you know, I think this job is a unique job. I'm here at the farm to see the horse that may be colicking. So I'm going to get everything together to examine the horse. I'm Dr. Susie Welker. I am an equine veterinarian specializing in pleasure and sport horses. I worked hard from elementary school through high school and college to get to my ultimate goal, going to veterinary school. I knew that getting a foundation, um, the building blocks of science and math and even English and communication, um, all of that was going to be important for me being a veterinarian later in life. Veterinary schools look at your grades, of course, and your overall performance as a student, but they also really look at um, your dedication to being with animals and your experiences, in particular, with veterinarians and other animal health care providers. I love being able to see my patient. So funny. Oh my gosh. This is what 
I love about my patients is they all have personality. <laughs>